uh, will the uh, negative sign cancels because delta V is negative. So notice we're moving from high voltage to low. So our final V final is zero. So zero minus, we have a delta V is minus 25 times 10 to the six. So this guy is negative and that cancels with this negative sign. So this whole quantity here ends up being positive, as it should, because we should gain kinetic energy in this process. All right, some answers. Some answers filtering in here. So 6.9 times 10 to the seven, round up seven times 10 to the seven. I got the same, I got similar things. So the speed is around 10 to the seven meters per second, which is really, really fast. If you think uh, the speed of light is three times 10 to the eight meters per second, these protons, uh, if you end up solving for V final and then plugging in all the numbers here, remember this negative sign will cancel with the negative sign in delta V. Rounding, you get around seven times 10 to the seven meters per second. It's more than 10% the speed of light. So they're moving really, really fast at this tumor. So from there, if we have the total kinetic energy, how many protons do we need? This is the last part of the problem. How many protons do we need to get a total, to deposit a total kinetic energy of 0.1 joules? So what's the kinetic energy, final kinetic energy of one proton? How many protons do we need to get up to this number here, 0.1 joules? And if you have thoughts on how to solve for this number, please share them in the chat to help with uh, help other people who may be more confused. I'm trying to still let you guys do as much of the work as possible. It's hard knowing when or if people are confused or if you're just working through calculations. So please just let me know so I don't just stand here uh, and not give you hints if you need them. So to find the total number of protons here, we have to think about how much energy one proton has. It's similar to kind of finding the total molecules of ATP in the last problem. How much total kinetic energy does one proton have after it leaves this accelerator? That's gonna be this quantity here that I just circled or boxed. So that's the kinetic energy of one proton. 
how many protons total do we need so that the total kinetic energy adds up to 0.1 joules? That's what we need to do. So it's kind of like a, a ratio thing again, similar to ATP, finding the number of ATP molecules. Does that help? And if you want, I can put the first line here. Notice, so we have delta K for one proton. That's this number here. And we have to, E total here is gonna be this 0.1 joule number. So we need a total kinetic energy of that. And we wanna solve for the number of protons we need to deliver that amount of energy. All right, two answers of 2.5 times 10 to the 10. I'll give everyone a minute to kind of work through the calculation and see if they agree. If you get this number, just send a uh, send an affirmative in the chat. So I'll go ahead and say that uh, we did. So the total energy solving for the number of protons we'll need, the total energy is 0.1 joules. If you work out the kinetic energy we get, the kinetic energy we have in one proton, it's gonna be four times 10 to the minus 12 joules. So this ratio should give us the number of protons we need to deliver to the tumor, which I also get if you round to 2.5 times 10 to the 10. So just to conclude here with these problems, when we work with uh, this lecture in particular with this kind of defining all these new terms and new ways to talk about potential energy is in particular confusing. I think it's one of the most confusing lectures in in the electricity part of this course. So I think it's, it's uh, because you're talking about things, things we've just done, but in a different way. But hopefully it allows you to give you some understanding of terms you might've heard in other classes or, or why we call this charge separation in a cell uh, a potential. It's because we're storing potential energy doing that. Uh, so if, uh, if you guys have any other questions and wanna hang out, uh, I'm happy to answer any more. If you have any questions about either of these problems, I'll help you out. Uh, if not, then uh, that's the last problem I have for you today. There are four, I think I posted three or four problems in Mastering Physics for the next two days. They're very similar to these ones we just did. So try to go back to these. Uh, if you have questions on those problems, I'll be available uh, tomorrow at 11. Uh, if you want to log on and we could chat about those. No, but if not, that will be uh, that'll be it for today. Thanks for listening, guys. And thanks for staying late.